Hey everyone, it's Eric here. This is my first YouTube video, so I'm very excited and very nervous at the same time. Uh, I'm a first year medical student at the University of Melbourne. This is what the Melbourne Medical School looks like if you are interested. And to give you a bit more context, I finished my biomed degree at Monash University last year and I'm four weeks into med school. And so what I really want to do is share my med journey, the behind the scenes stuff of what we learn, what we do, or what we can't do as medical students. This uh, first video, I want to briefly introduce you to the typical structure of a week in med school and the main classes that we have to attend and what we learn from them. Okay, on to the first class, which is CSL, Case Supported Learning. The overall aim of this class is to work in a team, come to a diagnosis for a patient using our very limited first year knowledge. Um, so on Monday, we get the case about the patient who may be presenting with chest pain. We are also given other information like their personal history, medical history or social history. And we need to use all of that information to come up with questions we want to ask the patient any physical examinations we want to do or any lab investigations for example if it's an infection to find out what's the actual cause then throughout the week we get extra information regarding the test results or investigation results and we are supposed to use that to refine our diagnosis and on friday we really just translate all of that information onto a mind map starting with the patient's history any factors uh, that influence them or anything that they did and how that ultimately leads to the problem that they presented with. Alright, so to the second class that we have to attend, which is clinical skills training. This is where we get to develop our practical skills, such as how to take a patient's history, which is something that you do uh, when a patient presents to you for the first time and you know nothing about them. Another skill that we will develop in the future is how to use a stethoscope which is going to be really, really fun. Clinical skills training is really one of my favorite classes because it's practical, it's hands-on. We get to do lots of role plays in class, active discussions, rather than listening to the tutor talk the whole time. Uh, for the past four weeks, we have been learning how to take a patient's history. So what questions should we ask them? And how should we phrase our questions to find out more about specific information that relate to the problem that they're presenting with? So it's quite a complicated process and there are a lot of things that we have to consider but I think it's really really fun and I plan to make a video about how we are taught to take a patient's history um, later down the track so feel free to stay tuned if you are interested. I would have to say that my favourite class is professional practice. This is where we learn how to conduct ourselves professionally as medical students um, or as future doctors. So we um, usually discuss different topics, for example, ethics, you know, communication skills, what makes a good doctor. The way the class runs is we usually have a class about 10 students and each student has to talk about what they think um, about a specific topic. For example, what makes a good or poor communicator. And then as a class, we would brainstorm ideas on what we should do or what we should try to avoid ideally when communicating with patients. So just last week, I learned that when you're talking to a patient who is lying on a hospital bed, ideally try and sit down next to them and talk to them rather than standing up because that seems like you're really talking down to them. It's a bit disrespectful. So that was really, really interesting. All right, on to the last main class that we have to attend, which is lectures. Every week we get about eight to 10 hours of lecture content or interactive modules or workshops covering the topics that we need to know. Currently, we are in a five week foundation block, which is where we learn the basics or a bit about everything. Later down the track, we will delve into cardiovascular block, which is about the heart, respiratory block, which is about the lungs. So we'll do you know, the different parts of the human body in detail. And I think it's gonna be very exciting. Okay, so that was a brief behind the scenes video about what a 
typical week looks like in med school, what the classes are. I hope that you all enjoyed it and learn a little bit more about how a first year medical student is taught and how we are trained. If there is anything that I've butchered in my first video, please let me know down in the comment section below or if there's anything you want me to cover in future videos, feel free to do that as well. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!